What's up everybody? It's Enes here and welcome to another episode from Dubai. Today we're checking out this 15th floor penthouse located on the Blue Waters Island. Unit is stunning, facing the amazing views of the Arabian Sea and it features four bedrooms, five bathrooms, 9,525 square feet of space and it is listed off market with an asking price of $23 million. As always, we will leave more information about the property in the description of this video. And before we start our tour, I want to thank the developer, Alpago Properties, and the listing brokerage, B1 Properties, for allowing us to tour their amazing listing and share it with all of you. And now, let's begin. We're gonna start our tour on the private landing. We have three elevators coming up to this level and as soon as you walk in, you have beautiful marble floors throughout, nicely book matched. And if you look at the walls, you can actually see this nice LED lighting detail as well. Skylights above us bring in natural light. And we have the front door here. On my left hand side, we actually have a fingerprint scanner and it opens this massive steel pivot door that's nicely wrapped in leather. And as soon as you walk into this penthouse, the first thing you see is the breathtaking views of the Arabian Sea. I mean, we have this massive picture frame right in front of us. It is stunning. It's such an interesting different view. It's a view that we're not used to seeing and the same marble theme continues throughout the foyer. And on this side, we have this beautiful piano. Yeah, I really like it. And you said these are views we're not quite used to because this is one of our first few shoots in Dubai. This is our first time here. Um, but looking out the window, I almost think we're in like Miami or something. It has like a really similar vibe, but I like it a lot. I mean, they have the warm temperature. They have walls of glass opening up to the views, indoor outdoor flow. It's pretty similar. It's kind of nice out here. And before we leave the entry, I want to show this section real quick. We have this glass enclosed section where we have the staircase and the office. And at the end of the hallway, we have two bedrooms that we're going to check out in a bit. Now, let's bring everybody this way to talk about the formal dining room area. Located in the center of this penthouse, we got this gorgeous table that sits 10 people. I love the chandelier application above. It's just a nice cozy space. Love the open floor plan. And right across, I wanna talk about some of the built-ins and the stone application here. This is gorgeous. I mean, I just wanna take a picture of this bar setup here. You have your full-size wine fridges. You have base cabinets with glass fronts. And if you look inside, you can see those built-in racks which looks great, marble countertops, open racks that goes all the way to the ceiling, these floating shelves where you can uh, store your glasses. I mean, this bar application here with the recessed in LED lighting looks gorgeous. Now, before we leave the dining area, I actually wanna point everybody this direction. Automatic sliding glass doors from floor all the way to the ceiling and it flows straight to your wraparound balcony where again, you enjoy these amazing views. You got a nice outdoor dining area here. I guess we're gonna talk about this balcony later in the tour as well. Now, let's bring everybody back in. Again, dining area, bar set up, and right next to that, we have the kitchen. Massive island right in the center with dual elevation, bar seating, and Mikey, we need to get a close up. I love this waterfall edge angle here. It's something different and contemporary. And speaking of contemporary, look at the cabinetry here. It looks very sleek. We have some glass fronts. It's very elegant. You have your built-in handles, induction cooktop with a pop-up vent, more of your cabinets here. And I love how they've kind of recessed in the center section here a little bit to create some depth to this kitchen. Gorgeous countertops here, your sink, backsplash, I mean, everything is nicely paneled in. Of course, you have two dishwashers here, everything you need, and some built-ins over there. 
I don't want to leave the kitchen yet because right around the corner we also have a beautiful powder room with the vanity area and the water closet section. So there's a nice little separation there. And again, your kitchen is right next to your dining area. Mikey, I need you to wait right there. Right across from the kitchen, you have the small seating section and your DJ booth. This is actually a custom furniture they built for this space. And on each side, we have these marble, let's just say tables or like built-ins. And right underneath there, we have the speakers. I've been told that they've only managed to get these speakers up to 20%. I'm assuming it gets pretty loud after that, but it's a nice little cool spot. And when you have a space like this, you just open your glass doors and enjoy the vibes here. You just spin. That's right, you just spin. I like that, I like that. All right, I just realized another detail, Mikey. Let's get a close up. We actually have a door here, which leads us to the secondary staircase that takes you to the chef's kitchen, which is on the lower level. I guess we'll cover that detail later as well. And coming back here, beautiful marble floors brings you to the seating area. Beautiful Minote furniture setup. I love this L-shaped couch with a low profile. You just sit down, watch TV, look at these views and this stone that they have throughout this room. This is Nero Marquina from St. Laurent's Quarry, which looks gorgeous. I mean, I love the darker tones in this penthouse. And of course you have some built-ins here. And Mikey, can we pan up to the ceiling? Look at the lighting installation with the brush bronze finish, the scale angles, and it almost runs the entire width of this unit. Goes really well with the contemporary lines of this penthouse. Now, right next to the seating area, we have additional seating with a gorgeous marble coffee table right in the center. And we have the open corner design here. No column in this section. You have automatic sliding glass doors opening up and you have that perfect indoor outdoor flow. Now, Mikey, we have the patio space and the pool here, but first let's take everybody this way. So that's the outdoor dining area that we pointed out earlier, ceiling mount, swing chair, and can we show everyone the floors here? These are built-in flooring, just like a yacht, where you actually have black caulking all around it, so you have to treat it. This is an expensive application, considering the fact that this is a residential home, but uh, they did this unique approach here. Looks great, gives a ton of character, and again, awesome outdoor space. Why do they do that? Is it because of like the heat? Well, they wanted something really, really nice. Okay. This is just a personal preference. So it's not like something that like is more uh, weatherproofed or like more resistant to... Well, this is absolutely a really resistant technique. Obviously, if it can withstand being on water, it can easily withstand being here. But uh, yeah. it's just a really expensive application. That's why I'm kind of surprised that they chose it for here. All right, let's continue our tour. So we're on the side patio right now. Right in the center, we have this above ground pool with darker finishes. If you look inside of the pool, they have this granite mosaic finish. And you're on the 15th floor, looking at amazing views, and you have your own private pool. Honestly, it doesn't get much better than this. And speaking of that flooring application, they have it on the walls here with smaller planks. And again, they have the black caulking in between. This is not easy to install as well. So I appreciate that they ran that material throughout the deck spaces. We have another outdoor seating area here. And let's get a close up on this cantilevered bar. If you look throughout the unit, they have a lot of marble and natural stone application, but they brought that detail even to the outdoors. This entire wall is a backlit onyx. This one is semi-translucent. And the bar top here is almost fully translucent, which means light almost goes through the entire thing. I'm sure at night, this back wall and the countertop here looks great. Now coming back here, we have the raised spa, your outdoor shower. And Mikey, can we pan up to the ceiling before we leave this section? We have this massive chandelier right above the pool. And they have actually a nice awning system above it, which means you can actually open those wings allow natural light to come in or have it closed like this that we're seeing right now. Now, I'm gonna take everybody this way. We got an awesome view of Dubai on the back side. People are on the beach enjoying their time. We have the outdoor kitchen here with the grill, sink, stainless steel finishes. And I wanna take everybody to this amazing balcony. I mean, views are phenomenal. And let's talk about the Blue Waters Island development. So. This area was completed about five years ago. This is a man-made island. These are phenomenal. 
And if you look down below us, you have all these walking trails. We're right by the water, gorgeous restaurants around us, retail spaces. They have every amenity you can think of, and you're just part of this exciting area. Right behind us, we have the world's biggest Ferris wheel, and it's Dubai, you know, they have everything at the top tier. Dubai always goes above and beyond. We have what, the world's tallest building here, world's biggest Ferris wheel. Uh, I feel like Dubai just, they, they like, they like to do that. They like to push it. They like to push it, that's right. But place looks great. And that wraps our tour on this wing, on this level. I wanna actually take everybody back to the entry so we can check out those two bedrooms. Off of the entry on our right hand side, we have this hallway taking us to two bedrooms, built in closets on the right. This entire section is glass enclosed. We have the marble staircase taking us down to the lower level, gorgeous chandelier here, and another sliding glass door taking us to the office. Beautiful table set up right in the center, amazing views with a casement insert right in the center, built in shelves on our back side, gorgeous office, it's all open, gets ton of natural light. Now coming back here, two bedroom suites. I love the lighting application on the wall here. Let's start with the small guest suite which starts here, built-in closets on the left. We have a gorgeous bathroom here with stone application throughout. I love this deck flooring application in the walk-in shower with a chrome rain head handheld. You have your toilet here and a floating vanity designed with this massive drop-in sink. Now coming to this side, we have the bedroom. King size bed on the left, nice warm tones with the wallpaper, Massive picture window with a casement detail right in the center. Again, amazing views, TV on this side. Now coming back to the hallway, we have the second bedroom, start right here. The three bedrooms that we're about to tour are incredibly spacious. They all have their seating area and the bedroom setup. I mean, this could easily qualify as an apartment on its own marble application throughout with the floors. We have the built-ins here with the TV. Above us, we have Onyx light fixture that lets the light through, L-shaped couch, great seating area. Now, right next to that, we have the king size bed with a padded back wall and this gorgeous marble stone back wall with the book matching. I mean, this is incredible. They have these ceiling mount light fixtures. It's a really nice cozy room. And on top of that, you have these French doors opening up to Juliet balcony where you look at these amazing views. It's awesome. It is awesome. All right, let's continue our tour. Let's go check out the bathroom, number one. We have this entire wall with glass, that way you can actually see through your entire bathroom. And the reason they went with this kind of application is to benefit from the views, even from your bathroom. And it starts right here. We have marble floors, marble walls, water closet on my left with a bidet. And coming here, we have this long vanity with two vessel sinks, brush bronze finishes, I love the LED lit mirrors that has that floating effect, ceiling mount light fixtures, great space. And I wanna mention owners are currently occupying the space. So I'm gonna to try to respect their privacy as much as possible. Frosted glass detail here and come into this section. We have the open walk-in shower with the same decking style flooring. Again, I love this marble here. I think they call this iceberg uh, marble. And Mikey, you need to get a close up here. Look at this marble freestanding tub. This thing is massive, looks gorgeous. And even more importantly, you actually get a great view of the Palm Islands, even Caesar's Palace down below. This is amazing. And lastly, before we wrap our tour here, right off the entry of this bedroom, we have a spacious walk-in closet. So I wanted to mention that. And that wraps our tour on the top floor. Now let's go back to the staircase so we can check out the lower level. So we're taking a little bit of an interesting route for the lower floor. This is a secondary staircase, brings us here, chef's kitchen on this side, and we have this door opening up to the first bedroom on this level. We go straight into the living room area here, walls of glass facing the views. We have some built-in cabinetry here, serving as your walk-in closet. And as soon as you walk in, you have this open concept where we have the walk-in shower here with the same bronze finishes, floating deck, 
and come in here floating vanity design with the vessel sink i love these bronze legs that they have that mounts to the floors as well as the ceiling it just gives it a nice modern aesthetic you have your water closet here with the bidet seating area chandelier above and right behind this marble clad wall we have the king size bed again more views nice cozy rooms darker finishes units great now i want to actually take everybody back to that long hallway so we can go check out the primary bedroom suite and the landing of the main staircase so this back staircase actually connects the chef's kitchen to the main kitchen directly come in here we have this long hallway with some built-in cabinetry you have another access door here and come into this section this is the main staircase coming down to the landing of the lower floor right across we have the open gym with techno gym equipment mirror walls tvs how many times did i say views views they're very nice they are very nice absolutely now let's go check out the primary bedroom suite it is pretty special now it starts right here as soon as you go in you have this totally open concept i mentioned it earlier owners are currently occupying this space so they have a lot of clothes and uh, furniture throughout but uh, let's start with the bathroom let's do it so we have the enclosed water closet here with the bidet spacious walk-in shower in fact i'm going to step in i love the rain head that is nicely recessed into the ceiling bronze finishes and there you go you have your tub set up here nice elevation with the marble more amazing views casement window in the center and the stone application throughout we have the lighter tones here we have the darker tones on this side and this side actually wraps all the way to the other side and this is a really interesting detail i want to point out so they have these floor and ceiling mount poles that are basically floating the countertops here and if you follow these countertops wrap around this entire wall and join into the built-ins where we have the tv the book matching here is stunning and more importantly the natural stone application all the way to your ceiling mount light fixture this is a custom piece that weighs around 500 kilos which means i want to say about like 14 1500 pounds that is insane yeah. walls of glass king size bed you got a nice comfortable seating area here and mikey let's turn it on for a second let's show all these built-ins where you can appreciate the clothes that you have it continues on this side with a nice seating area island design here and let's talk about this king size bed the light fixture that i just show on top of the seating area they use the same onyx and custom fabricated the ceiling mount light fixtures that looks gorgeous look at the stone on the back there mikey isn't that amazing the veins the diamond pattern just looks gorgeous and again the amount of money and time and resources they spent on natural stone in this apartment is uh, something else yeah i'm curious uh, you probably don't even know this we see a lot of stone in los angeles but is stone here about the same price as LA or is it more expensive? Well, they all mostly come from Italy. So yeah. it's the same pricing. You just have to pay your tariff or your like custom fee. Yeah. So it's the same quarries. I guess import taxes and everything probably are not as intense here as they are. In I would say it's probably a little bit cheaper here. Yeah, yeah. Also the transportation is a little less. Yeah, for sure. So, and here's what's amazing about this primary bedroom suite. Sliding glass doors open up to this balcony, right? It's nice to have a balcony like this because you can enjoy these peaceful, tranquil, sea views and something about it is just so nice getting the sea breeze coming into your unit it's pretty amazing now this balcony wraps around and check this out the ferris wheel is massive i mean the scale of this thing is mind-boggling yeah so if we have any audience in london like the eye of london it's a very similar design to that but this one's a lot bigger than that one. 210 meters high 250 meters wide it weighs 7,000 tons. It's like a big bicycle wheel in the sky. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Good analogy there, Mikey. But I mean, look at your views. People are on their yachts. You have the Palm Islands on the back. Nice commercial center down below. This is amazing. Beautiful views, amazing penthouse. Honestly, it doesn't get much better.
right, everyone, that's it for the tour. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I want to congratulate the developer, Alpago Properties, for doing a phenomenal job with this penthouse. And I also want to thank the listing agent, Babek with B1 Properties, for allowing us to tour his amazing listing. As always, you can find more information about the property in the description of this video, so make sure to check it out. Lastly, if you enjoyed the tour, just make sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next week.